Hi, it's Anne from The Useless Crafter. All right, if you're not subscribed, please subscribe. <laughs> so you get your notifications and then now we can get started back to the main program. <laughs> um, all right, so we are doing this. I mean, I am in love with this project. I This whole journey already has been so much fun for me. So this is a backpack and you know, um, I see this all the time because I'm in a ton of Facebook groups. Um, and people are always worried about the backpack. So you can see this is your typical backpack, like this liner. I don't even know what material it is. But this top one, look at what we have. So these little paw prints, my daughter is in love with cats. I'm like deathly afraid of cats. <laughs> but she loves it, so I went with it. Um, I know a lot of you guys don't like to have names on uh, school things like backpacks where strangers can know your child's name. So what I did was I opted for a design that she could easily find her stuff um, that it's hers, you know, but doesn't have her name on it. So we've got this monogram cat in this reflect in this cute little glitter. Um, I need to look at the name of it. Sorry. It, it's just so stinking cute. And then I used Glitter HTV for the um, spirals, like the little thin C's. And I just wanted to give it a little bit of color, but not a lot. But my favorite, favorite part of this design are the little paw prints because this is in reflective HTV. So, I mean, doesn't that sound just crazy? Um, it's the stuff that you, you know, like you wear to go jogging at night, right? So like when the lights flash on you, this becomes reflective. And so they know that something's there and it's not just like, you know, an open space of blackness, right? So, I mean, I just think it's so cool. Like being safe doesn't have to be so boring, right? Like we could have put, you know, like I always think of like safety gear with like the big bars running across. But in this case, little cat paw prints, cats are like, such jerks they run all over your monogram <laughs> so that's why i have the little paw prints going across like through here anyway we're gonna recreate this i'm gonna show you how easy it is um i'm on this journey with poly tape and um i will have the link to show you where to get their htv i do not get paid for the htv commissions at all i don't get a a penny from you buying it um, but I will say it's definitely my favorite HTV. Um, it cuts well. Sorry, I'm getting my blank one. It weeds well. And my favorite part of it is that a lot of the HTV, we're not using, we're not using the turbo today, but I just finished a project with turbo. The turbo, you can see here my notes. I know. And look at, I mean, just. I love their products because they've got their stuff going on. Like it is organized. I, you know, they don't just send me this stuff. Like I'm on this journey and I have conference calls with them. I'm on the, like I'm on a conference call, Zoom call um, with their, you know, with their team in Germany. And they're telling me like how to do stuff, like why, you know, this and that and everything that you need to know and more about HTV. But in the whole process, like, you know, it's funny. Um, not only do they know about HTV, but then they were telling me, well, the difference between this and an adhesive H an adhesive vinyl, and I'm like, what's that? You know, like the pressure vinyl, they're giving me like, you know, like really good live examples, concrete examples. So anyway, I am giving you like real information, not my interpretation, but actually information from the experts. Um, but sorry, I got sidetracked. What I really like about their turbo line is, and I didn't use it on this one, but it only takes three to five seconds for it to adhere. So when you think about three seconds, so if you do it at three seconds, you need to, the heat needs to be at 320 degrees. If you have to lower the temperature to 265, then you need to press on it for five seconds. That's what this means. But if you think about that, that means all of our like sensitive materials that we're always so worried about burning, 
go with the polyflex turbo it only takes three to five seconds right so we know it can withstand that heat and it anchors itself so i'm just anyway <laughs> you know, i'm in love with it so I, i'm just super excited to be showing you guys like a really good quality product um all right all the stuff that i use today came from this one so i am using the reflective um, over here. I think it's this one, the silver. I'm also using the Starflex silver, which I love. See, I mean, look at, you can kind of see it changes colors. And then all of my glitter colors, I believe is from here. So that means it needs to be at 320, which I have here through, oh, sorry, my face is right there. 320 at 15 seconds. Now, because we're layering, you want to press it just enough for it to stick and be able to pull off this, um, you know, the carrier sheet, right? And then put the next layer at the end. Everything needs to get the same pressure and time to make sure that it anchors itself. OK, so that means like we're pushing it down for 15 seconds at the end um, and then it's a warm peel which means we're gonna let it cool for a few seconds before we pull it off i am notoriously bad for being impatient and if my fingers can handle it i want to peel it off but here's the thing and i know you know this if you've done it before where you start to peel up even when it's down the fact that we're pulling up we're sort of like um I mean, we're pulling on it. So we're kind of like, not, not that we're yanking, we're being, you know, super careful with it, but we're, um, we're pulling it away from the, from being anchored to the backpack. So if we let it cool, gently pull up, um, that's, you know, those are the tips. All right. So let's get started on this thing. First off is I did have, I put one pad down so that it's never touching my um, self-healing mat because I don't want to ruin my self-healing mat. All right, so that's down at the bottom bottom. Everything is going right here. And I'm going to have a surprise for you guys. I'm going to work on this afterwards. We're going to do the exact same design as I did already for my daughter. But I'm going to use this space later to distinguish her backpack from my backpack. So that's going to be a surprise. All right, we know we're going to be putting the kitten stuff in here. So I just want to make sure that when I'm pressing this, that it's on this. So like if I have any paw prints up here, I'm not going to go all the way up here. I'm going to make sure I'm going to move this at that point to make sure that there is something behind there so that I can, I won't ruin the material as well as letting it like, you know, um, take the pressure. All right. So let's do our circle first. So here we go. And I always have a Teflon sheet. Teflon sheet I get on Amazon, so you can, um, you can too. <laughs> All right, I'm going to heat this just for a split second, okay? So I want to, you know, um, I'm always protecting my materials. I'm going to press for just a few seconds just to warm it up. All right. And because I'm doing so many layers, I am really trying to avoid, um, you know, putting as much heat as possible. I also have the mini going on on the side side over here. I know you can't see it. Um, oh, hold on. Okay. Um, I have it on the side because the paw prints, they're so small. I don't want to have to use my six by seven when I don't have to apply heat everywhere. To So that's why I have that going on. All right. So here we go. I'm just going to eyeball this. Okay. That looks good to me. So let's put this on and I'm not gonna go the full 15 seconds. I'm just gonna go there, five seconds to see if I can pull this off. And you know what? I'm going to, I'm gonna look a little bit taller, but I'm gonna stand on something so that I can push down a little bit better. All right, <laughs> all right, here we go. Now, I ran into this when I was doing my daughter's backpack too. Some of it will be down and some of it will not be. So I'm trying to find a place where I can pull this off without, you know, ruining my design at all. So I know my ears are good. 
And you just want to be careful around the whiskers because the whiskers, the whiskers are thin, right? Oops, let me move this up a little bit better there. Okay, I'm not worried about this being anchored down just yet because um, I know I'm going to be pressing this a few more times. Okay, so now let's put down our big C. Our big C is in blue. So I'm going to move this like so okay Ooh, it moved on me too well i'm glad it didn't anchor itself i'm gonna use this it's still really hot right now so I think I can press this down and kind of like activate the stickiness. So weird, it didn't. Okay. All right, let's see if that works. Oh my gosh, it's not sticking. Hold on. <laughs> okay, I'm putting it down on the right side because sometimes, you know, it's just like, I don't know what's going on. It's like it doesn't want to stick. This is sticking well. That's weird. Okay, I'm gonna try it one more time. So, and I don't want this to move, so you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna use my tape. And this is um, resistant heat tape. Non-resistant, non-resistant? No, resistant. <laughs> um, it's usually for my sublimation stuff, but I'm going to try it now. I don't know what's going on. And I don't... Let me see if this is going to be better. Because I don't want to heat up everything so much. All right. Oh my gosh. What is going on? I swear when I did this... On the other backpack, I did not have this problem. All right, I'm going to take it off. You know, poly tape is probably watching and they're like, what the heck is she doing? <laughs> but we got to get this down and I want to use this blue, darn it. All right, so I'm going to put it down like this. Oh my gosh, and now this one's not sticking that well because it's had the heat. So you know what? I'm going to scrap that color. If I really, really want to, I will go back and recut that one. But I'm going to put down this green one. And let's see if this one works. Here we go. <laughs> of course, right? All right. I pressed for way longer than I wanted to because now I'm all paranoid. Okay, and I'm gonna do a warm peel, so I'm gonna cool it off a little bit. <laughs> all right, because now I'm like super paranoid. That one is sticking, okay, there, it's sticking. A little bit. Okay. 
I'm moving on. I'm putting my next color on. It's a peach. So I'm going to put this, you know what? I'm going to trim this so that the heat, so that the, um, the sticky part won't interfere at all. So give me a second. What did I do with my scissors? And now I'm like, what is going on here, my scissors? Okay. So I'm just gonna trim this so that, since I already had a problem with it adhering, I don't want this sticky transfer tape to interfere with my green at all. So I'm gonna do that. And I put this down. because I also want the green to get like regular heat. So here we go. Did it stick at all? I don't even know what to say. I did not have this issue. Am I, what am I doing? I don't know. All right, I'm gonna press it for, you know, I'm gonna press it for the full 15 seconds and let me see what is going on. Okay, lots of pressure. And I can feel it's kind of soft, you know, because the backpack is soft. It's on a couple different layers. All right, so it got the full 15 seconds. Oh, okay, I'm gonna let it cool because it's a warm peel, warm, luke, warm, lukewarm, cold. So there you have it. my last one all right last one the last layer I'm gonna do the same thing I'm gonna really trim it so that this doesn't interfere with my other pieces at all and then I'm so glad okay this is getting it's getting warm for sure so let's put down this Watch, I promise you, when you watch my reel, you're gonna be like, oh, it was easy peasy. It was easy peasy. <laughs> of course. All right, um, my last layer is down. I'm gonna put this down. Well, you know what else we can do? Because we know that the paw prints are gonna go through. It's gonna fit on here. So I'm gonna cut out a few. I'm gonna do it like this. I don't know how much of my six by seven is gonna cover this, but I'm gonna put this down. Let's see. I know, I'm like so nervous now. <laughs> All right, so we'll cool it. But it's still going to be a stinking cute backpack. I know. All right. Okay, 
Okay, so it's just my first two layers. Super cute, right? <laughs> Let's see if this anchored down. And it did. As well as this bottom one. And I, I don't know if you can tell, but look it. It's super smooth. This is like, it's not embedded because you know you can feel it, but it is as embedded as can be. It feels super smooth and it's on here. Okay, this one didn't get en enough heat. So let me see about this side. Nope, okay. So we still have that one. I'm gonna put this up here so I can see it. I'm gonna apply my mini because I wanna get it on here. Oh, I always, I know, I wanna pick it up. Let me see if I can cool it down for a second. I'm gonna do one more press. Let me see. Yeah, this is cooled down. And um, I mean, obviously no lighting effects right now. So you could see the backpack has not been damaged at all. And it feels really good. Nothing is lifting, right? So let's do one more press. And then I'm gonna shift it up here to get these paw prints up here, some heat. All right. Yay! <laughs> and we are done. So I'm gonna be adding more to this later. Like I said, I might do something, something fun up there. Um, to to make mine different from my daughter's, but I wear a C because both my husband and my daughter are C names, and I love it. All right, I will see you next time. Oh, we're not washing the backpack. However, the cure time is you should wait at least 24 hours between pressing it and washing it. So like obviously more of like a t-shirt kind of thing or a sweatshirt. Um, it needs care. It has a cure time as well as, you know, your regular adhesive vinyl. All right. Let me know what you think. I will see you guys next time. Post your questions too, because I'm going to be hosting a live. I'm going to be, um, uh, keeping a tally going of all the questions about HTV to make sure that they're answered. So if you have a question, even if it's not related to this project, but something else, anything HTV, um, Hit me up. All right. Bye, guys.